You know, one of my favorite things to do is I'm sitting on Twitch. It's Monday night. Tori's here. Simno's here. Hink is here. Fred's here. Datasaurus Rex is here. Horacle's here. I mean, all my favorite people. Simno. I think I already said Simno. Ant's here. I mean, come on. The list goes on and on and on. Some of my favorite people are here tonight. Um, and someone said, hey, can you do this reaction? And they said it in there. No apology. Now, I haven't done enough reactions of no apology. I'll admit it. I should do more. Uh, this one is called Ashes, which I think I've heard the song before. But this one's stripped down. So I'm very interested to see this because you guys know, love acoustic, love folk, love the natural sound. So if it's stripped down, maybe something a little bit more, less chaotic, less electric and everything more. Yeah. Let's check this out. This comes from No Apologies. It's called Ashes. And uh, this is me. No, yeah, there's no, no, there's no apology necessary. You're right, Horacle. Yeah, my chat is live right now. All right, here we go. Um, I have done a couple reactions to No Apology before. However, uh, one of the, the one of the singers of the band has done multiple videos outside of No Apology. So I, I often get confused with the people because I look. I've done over two thousand reactions in three years. It's an average of like three a day, and that's not even possible. So anyway, let's check it out. This is five minutes long. Let's, let's go. Straight up 1980s Tesla, not the car, the band, maybe some extreme uh, C Cinderella acoustic breakdown. That's what I'm feeling right now. Obviously, when she bought the cat suit, the bodysuit she's wearing, it said gentle cycle only. She did not listen. She did power cycle or um, possibly denim. And there you go. Not that any of you are hating it. You're not. You're loving the look. But still, pay attention to labels, people. Not labels on people, on your clothes. Take care of your assets. That's what I'm saying. You're just as broken as I am. But you're a way better liar. It taught me how to play this game. You told me take me higher. And now there's fire in the sky. And I am losing my sleep. I scream out. got that um alana miles sound remember black velvet back in the 90s yeah the there's a raspiness in here there's a grittiness in the vocal 
She does kind of remind me a little bit vocally, ready, of Nuru Luhimo. If you've ever seen the Nuru Luhimo experience, not Battle Beast, same singer, different focus. More of the rag, tag, soulful folk stylings. Uh, Nuru Luhimo did some work with um, Steven Seagulls, that crazy bluegrass band from Finland. Absolutely mesmerizing the tone. Her tone is rich and deep. A lot of people know this band, the No Apology Band, more from the previous in uh, iteration of the band. Before they were called No 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 Apology, they were a huge YouTube channel called um, Sersen, uh, Sersen and uh, Zeritskaya. And they did covers. They did originals, but they were really known for their amazing cover songs. And she could sing a phone book and make you go, holy crap. Now, they haven't put out any music in the last couple of years. They're starting to get new st content out uh, lately, which is awesome. And the reason for that is similar to Ignea, Space Variations, Ginger. They're a Ukrainian-based band. So even though um, uh, Zeretskaya could probably move in and out of, of Ukraine to, to avoid the invasion and stuff, more than likely the members of this band, the, the male members, probably were at least serving in some, in some state capacity. I mean, that's, that's how serious the situation is. I don't know exactly the situation with, with them currently. I'm hoping they're all safe. I'm glad to hear that they are putting more, their, more content, more music is forthcoming from them, which is amazing. We're, we're going to be looking out for it. Of course, luckily for me, I have a lot of members in my community that always have their ear to the ground. And if anything comes, they will let me know. Um, I think one of the interesting things was during the, the initial part of the whole Ukraine-Russian situation, we heard a lot from Ginger because Ginger was very active, not only in what was going on with the situations with their family. They were posting about that, but also they were posting about some of the volunteer work they were doing to stay active in service to their country while still trying to stay safe. They were doing children's medical supplies and baby food and things like that. I mean, they were doing what they could. Um, and then they were given a leave to be able to leave the country to promote the country uh, as ambassadors uh, goodwill ambassadors, musical ambassadors. There's a lot going on. Uh, I like I said, I, I know um, that there's a lot going on here. Um, yeah, I I really want to hear more from them. If somebody if somebody hears anything and you see this reaction, please let me know what the current situation is with No Apology and if there is music forthcoming and where we can hear more because I'm very interested in this. Bass player rhythm section in a broken down sense, really great tone. Love the journey they're taking us on and that, that acoustic styling. Bass players really running up, running down the lines, really smooth. And of course, her power is ridiculous. It's, she's, I would hate to put Nora Luhimo, her, Melissa Bonnie. You know, there's like a list of people, Flory Anson. There's a list of people that if you put them all in a room, it's like, it's like the sign of the apocalypse. Like the world implodes on itself. If you put this many amazing vocalists together, she's one of those people. All right, let's keep going. Faces, no, we're building high fences. 
build them higher and higher But I will rise from the ashes It's closing out, but do you hear it? I want to know if you hear something. I'm about to show my age. You ready? I'm about... Sorry. Finish your chord, dude. Okay. I'm about to show my age. You ready? Here it comes. It really reminds me of 1970s heart. Magic Man. Right? Barracuda. Like, pre-dreams. Pre-synthesizer. That classic 70s, heavy, chunky bass, studio style, broken down everything, acoustic guitars. And she has that resonance that kind of reminds you of an Ann Wilson. And, okay, so I do have an update. Hinka, one of our amazing, one of our amazing community members uh, who over there in Europe, says that uh, they did put an Instagram repo a post for, on Instagram saying that a full original album is coming out this year. That came out a week ago. So that's awesome. So look for that. This is one of my first ever reactions to them as no apology. So um, looking forward to that. If you guys hear of anything, make sure you put me a comment so I can keep track of it because I want to know more. I want to react to whatever it comes out because they obviously have something going on and it's really amazing. All right, my name is Old School Nerd. With that, I'm out. Thanks for watching everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right over there. A big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.